Josh Snyder. This is a beautiful coach. Sir, what's the story? This right here is coach 1743. This was the very first 2023 model. So this was our Tampa show coach. Really excited about this. You know, Tampa show coach is always a big deal for us because it's our first one of the year and we introduced it at Tampa and had a great response. Thank you for all who came out and supported Brian, Pat and Newell coach there. Uh, we all greatly appreciate it. So for some of you, y'all probably have been through this coach but for a lot of you, you hadn't. So would you like for me to walk you through it? Yeah, so what's new for 2023? New 2023, we really did a lot of um, really upgrades with our Intrepid system, some updates and stuff like that, just to make it more user-friendly and things. But a couple of neat things we did was in the driver's compartment area, we have three screens up here. And what that is, is if you look back on the uh, 17, uh, 22 coach of Adam Willis, yeah. you gotta give him a shout out because this was actually one of his ideas. See the side cameras. Yes. Now, why is there no camera in the middle? Well, because I'm getting to do that right here what that is you can put whatever camera view you want right there we have our left and our right camera that's permanent up here yes sir and that way if um you know you're looking at your mirrors and stuff you just don't really see that you want to see a little bit wider of a view you have this right here so you're asking what that middle to middle monitor is well we still have our big display right here but all i have to do is turn that up there and it will transfer that to there and it will still do what i'm doing right down here so if i need to change it down if i need to look at my hitch view right there i'm fine another cool thing andrew is is i can also take advantage of like if i'm going to a fuel station that's my left side fuel stop so technically i have four cameras right here active at all times around my coach same thing something may come out of a cabinet something may drop and spill while i'm going down the road instead of turning around and looking we have a nice interior camera right here you can shoot it right down oh yeah you can see me see right there, there yeah. yeah and you still have all your camera views right there Nice. So that's really, really nice. We, we've hit on Smart Ride a little bit uh, last year in a test drive video, yeah. I believe on 1723. Our Smart Ride is um, new technically for 2023. We're putting it in all the coaches now. So uh, that's uh, some of the new uh, features we have in the driver compartment. We're also using Garmin now instead of Ram McNally. And if you look at your passenger GPS, we have a little bit more detailed and user-friendly passenger GPS of the Garmin as well. So since that cannot transfer over to here because we do not have an HDMI input um, in the Garmin, we, instead of having the GPS right here, we went to info gauges. And you can have all your gauges right here on one display if anything may be going wrong, you're concerned or anything. You can kind of look and see what your coach is doing at all times. It actually can hold 18, but you have 21 different gauges you can choose from. Nice. So kind of give you a little background there on this dash area and what's new here. Obviously a new key fob. We change these up a lot, see which one works best. But anyway, that's the new key file for 2023. Yeah, and I'm, I'm noticing while you're talking here, looks like a suede steering oh, yeah. wheel. This is something that we would see on like Ferraris and Lamborghinis. Is that an option or? It is an option. It's just another way to step our game up a little bit. You know, this right here has a carbon fiber dash right here. And that's here. real carbon yes, fiber. Yes, sir, it is. The black suede just really flows well with that in the gray. Another Amber and Nathan choice. I'm really proud of this new dash and all this stuff we were able to feature. So what we are continuing doing for 2023 is just keep updating and improving. Yes, sir. And listen yes, to sir. our customers. Just like I say, we're very appreciative of our customers. They come up with some great ideas. Shout out to Adam Willis once again. And I'll leave the test drive video to 1723 in the description below where Josh showed off that smart ride. But this is a beautiful coach, sir. Yes. What else is going on? It's a beautiful coach. I don't know if you already, when I was backing out to show you everything, you noticed this coach had black wheels. I did, yes, okay. sir. Okay, this coach is actually sold, uh, and you can do that. We do uh, sell our show coaches. What we do is require you to, uh, we let us show it for 60 days, and then you can take delivery of it. And that's what happened right here, but he wanted to make some changes, such as black wheels, and he will be putting hardwood floors in this. That's what he wanted, so his customization of it. So we can do black wheels, powder coated wheels, dull, gloss, however you want it. Pretty much about anything you kind of want. That's just another thing we reach out. It is becoming more and more popular with black wheels lately, so uh, something kind of catching on. We have done some flat gray wheels before too. Oh, really? But uh, to kind of continue on with this coach right here, this coach has a Martin Love seat with these nice little accent buttons on it right through here. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Really pop. We do this a lot in our show coach. It just really gives a good pop to it. And this right here is a high to bed sofa right here. It is a 60 by 70 uh, five inch sofa right there. So grown uh, man can sleep on it, no problem. And it inflates in the air. 
so it gives you a nice uh, firmness or softness. Also too, we do have a projection screen up here. I think a lot of people are starting to see the projectors becoming more and more popular. Once again, you can reverse it and make a nice exterior TV as well. So you have that. So we put right here is, is two recliners right here. And we have a nice little coffee table you can pull up right here. Oh yeah. Boom, right there. Now you see that little thing plugged in right there? Yeah, what, what's going on over That's here? Alexa. Okay. Alexa. So you, Alexa can do a number of different options for you, such what, as is, is it is Alexa. They don't have on? it connected right now because Dwayne is getting some options put in there for the customer that actually bought the coach to get some things right there. But can control like your lights, shades, and some different things, obviously music and things like that to your coach. Alexa is real popular. She seems to go everywhere, and a lot of people are putting it in their house. And so we want to make it just as user friendly for you, like at your home. Why not have it in your motor coach as well? Yeah. So that's kind of um pretty cool thing right there and behind this right here our recliners are not permanently in you can slide them around and all that stuff and adjust so behind here we did take advantage like we always do we got some storage right back here these are beautiful recliners almost like a european style or what type of you can just tell how high end these are I and mean, that looks are, what it is it's got a nice little flow with it a little round flow with the arms out through there and it's a 170 degree recliner i got i got a sorry guys i gotta take it on out here I we go, go. Here we go. well i think i can just sit even here right here but then oh my goodness now will this recline even more oh yes yeah, 170 degrees so if you pull uh, it out here it can really yeah, flip out and fold all the way down and i you know yeah. i think you got to pull that little strap so right down there behind beside you yep there you oh, go just, oh, there, there you go are. there it is uh all so right. you hit the wall right there a little bit but still oh, you can definitely uh, tell so you can really lay out and relax on that right there Josh, and it's a good just, wide. Why don't I just take a nap and let you show the rest <laughs> of the coach, man? This is, this is I like, like no smoke. This is one of the nicest recliners I've ever sat in. I mean, but at two and a half million dollars, I, I, you can expect that. Yeah, so. that's what it gets you. Oh man, this, this is the real McCoy here. <laughs> wow. And it's not your typical RV furniture recliner. It's really skinny. It's actually wide and it's really relaxing. Our interior team found this right here, probably for one of our customers or some suggestions. And uh, so like I say, we take a lot of ideas from the previous year that we learned on and put them into our Tampa show coach. You guys are always learning. So always learning and uh, customers are always challenging us, which we love. Yeah. You know, so, um, but uh, it's like but I say, the guys always answer to it. Yeah. Now talking about Tampa show coaches, I see some cabinets over these recliners here. And I know the Tampa show coach last year was the first coach to showcase the outside yeah. projector screen. Does this coach have that option? It does have that option. It does have the projector. Anytime you see the overhead cabinet right here, most of the time it's going to have the projector in it. And this projector uh, has been a huge hit. People love it. It don't take up a lot of room. You don't have to have the TV lift right back here. So therefore, it allows you to button the, put the uh, coach flush against the couch, flush against the wall, and you can have more space when the slides are in or out. That's just one of the benefits of it. Plus, it's kind of like you can have movie night too and stuff like that. And then the feature, you can reverse it on the exterior. That just made it a no brainer for everybody to get it. So I bet you probably over a half if not 75 percent of our coaches have the projection screen in there wow very so cool. it's really that was a huge win you know people love their big tvs and love to entertain that's why you're a social person you guys why you have a motor home so it really works well for the whole industry yeah now talking about tvs i see another tv right behind it does. you yes. above the booth. what we have right here is you still with the um projection tv is more like just you know maybe for movie night or something but if you're just kind of generally chilling watching tv you do have your 49 inch TV over your front overhead, but not everybody can see that specifically if you're sitting in this seat right here or if you're sitting right there. So we put a nice little 32 inch TV back there just to kind of show all angles and what we can do. Once again, this is a show coach, but actually it's kind of funny. It's kind of catching on since we started doing this with our show coaches onto when the customers build their coaches as well. Yes, so sir. Everybody loves to watch YouTube or different types of entertainment. So we got to get in the angles to do it. Now this can work YouTube streaming and all that as well, as long as off of works off your satellite and cable and all that stuff. So it works the same as a regular TV as far as inputs and everything like that. Nice. So um, a lot of people have been asking that question and we need to really cover that. Um, if we move on here to the galley area, right here we do have a really long galley right here, good countertop. This is a 15 foot seven inch long slide. 
And the key about the 15 foot seven inch long slide is the longest slide we can do with just only two slide bearings right here, one on each side. If you see a little pole right here, a little support or a little right there and you see a third slide bearing cover, it means it's over 15 feet, seven inches. We can go to 17 feet, seven inches is our longest slide we can do now. So this right here, a lot of people with the 15, seven has been very popular because you don't need that middle um, bearing cover right there. So what this is, is it allows us to have really good space, really long right through here. So you can have your dishwasher right here. Once again, we knock three times. Open that up. Full dishwasher along with what's been very popular still is this uh, style pullout drawer. And then this right here does slide back. There it goes, oops. And you have that right there. Yeah, with a pegboard and then the owners can choose the configuration, the configuration and they'll customize that. Yeah, and we work with that right there, such as this right here, even with this right here you have uh, for your um, silverware drawer, we have different options there. If you might want different utensils, different size utensils and stuff like that. I've got to get everybody a close up on this painting by uh, Pat Silo or Park Silo is how she signs the paintings, but just an incredible artist and how she draws these coaches together with the art. And there's actually two more paintings there in the bedroom that I look forward to showing everybody. But there's a lot of storage in this galley area. Uh, we saw the dishwasher and the big drawers there. What else is going on? Well, I have right here, we have our standard um, trash can drawer right here. And this little extra, some people call this a junk drawer, user drawer, yeah. remote drawer too, whatever you want yes, it to sir. be. Yes, um, sir. But it's all right there near your sink area, right through here. And we have a really good right here, right here to keep dish towels and stuff. A lot of people just use it for different things, but uh, for washing dishes and different things like that. The really neat thing is we, all of our coaches usually come with a garbage disposal. Yes, sir. Too, so, uh, well, what's really your neat. what's your holding tanks in this coach? We just that's wash the coach. We just wash the coach. Uh, our holding tanks are 143 gallons waste and fresh water. You do have the option to go to 180 gallons. Okay. Now, what that does is we will have to move the aqua hot up a bay. So it'll take up three, about a, not three quarters, about a 35% of a bay that aqua hot is. So you don't have the two full pass through storages, for instance, on a front entry. So you'll have about one pass through and about three quarter storage, roughly. That tank moves over and you just have 180 gallons. Yes, sir. Uh, it's not as been as big of a popular, and it's not, it's not as popular as a lot of people like the storage, but as more and more RV resorts are going up, luxury RV resorts. Not as many people are boondocking as much anymore, but we still have a lot of people wanting that. Probably some Na capacity. NASCAR coaches probably get some that Some of our NASCAR coaches do, but once again, they went to storage. It's uh, some of the World of Outlaw guys. Um, just really depends. A lot of the guys might go out in the desert, for instance, might do a lot of uh, dune jumping and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, they like to have the bigger water tanks, it seems like. Yes, sir. The guys that like to go uh, maybe buy coaches to do more adventurous stuff. Does our, did our buddy Brian with the orange coach get uh, 180 gallons? Did he get 180 gallons? No, because you know the reason why he did not? Because he's getting a trailer. I think he's gonna put a water tank in his ah, trailer. Ah, yes sir. A 1738, he got about everything else on that coach. That, that, that was an amazing coach, right? A lot of their ideas they put in, we put in here too, so. Yeah, going back to the storage here in the galley. We uh, do have this great storage all the way through. We do, I mean, you even have this right down through here. Yes sir, every square inch. And then I like to, look in those cabinets just because yeah. they light up when you open them up and they're all lined with carpet you've got the two-tone black and white carpet what's going on here these right there you have we have all our ipads and everything but we also have to have a remote back oh so this is back. every remote and everything is labeled out of where it needs to be and what works what but a lot of people don't usually open this up because you can do it from your ipad very easily too but in case you don't want it and you want to use a regular remote, you can. And we go through and label each one for you. Nice. And we just put it in a nice little null bag right here. Yeah. And store it away. I like so, it. I like it. So I do something a little special right here. We did like a little drink section right here, a little bar area. So you have your nice little wine cooler right here. A little extra beverage refrigerator with our normal um, null glasses. And the cool thing is why a lot of people like this is, a lot of people ask, why, why is this so popular? Because you can have nice, glasses and it don't rattle while going down the road with how we storm in there and it's really safe and secure so that's really why a lot of people like to get this right here and why we offer it but this right here is something we just found out this morning talking to nathan kelly who's our coach designer is usually we could never do a refrigerator right across from the half bath 
a direct and have a pocket door because you can never operate the two. What we actually did was we were able to push this refrigerator back a little bit because we were able to move the refrigerator um, vents and stuff over behind this storage area right here. That allowed us to go a little bit more flush into the wall where you can open up the refrigerator completely and it never does go into the pocket door. Yeah, so, I, I've got to show everybody. Sorry, you've got wine bottle holders here. and Check out those hinges. And what type of a refrigerator is this? That's a GE monogram refrigerator. It's compressed air. Use this right here because one, we have 84 inches in height and right here, and this right here is an, um, an 81 inch in height, so it fits perfectly in there for us and it really works good. We have very good luck with our GE monograms. And then a uh, slide out uh, ice tray here. Yeah, you have a slide out ice tray right here and you can store a little bit of other stuff in here. Now this right here is a freezer, but can also be a refrigerator and you can change the uh, temperature. Some people might use it to store wine or something right there, but you don't really need it in this one right here because you have a wine cooler. Yes, sir. But I, I just found out that that could be multiple uh, options there you can use that for. Yeah. So, and then if you go down through there, this coach does have central vac in it. Nice. Right there. And then you have your hose connector right there. So you can sweep everything in here or connect to a or hose connect there. To a hose, yes. and, and talking about 81 inches in headroom, it, oh, I'm sorry, in, in just refrigerator just height, refrigerator. that's giving you a lot of cubic feet in your refrigerator. But what is the height? Just you're you're over six foot and you've right got right now we're 89 inches right here in height. The key thing is we also have. Um, right here is we have 76 inches of slide height right yes here. sir so this right here 89 inches and 76 inches is really um great for taller people such as yourself yeah, you're uh yeah. right at six foot three inches yeah tall. I, i'm six two and you can see still plenty of headroom here in the class a industry i don't think anybody has as much headroom as you guys i don't think anyone does uh, if they do i'm not aware of it um so but we've always been able to get the most headroom and all that is because how we build our slides with our custom chassis, but also I got to give a lot of our R&D team credit is how we do our AC systems. We got to be more efficient and we were able to even get more height as well out of our ceiling. Other benefit is uh, we have a lot of storage in here. We have a lot of storage, so therefore we don't need audio video racks or anything like that. We can put the audio video connections much like at your house right next to the TVs and receptacles. That allows us to have more space in different areas. We can do more taller linear closets like you've seen a lot in our bedrooms. But up here, it allows us also to do more taller pantry storage, wider pantry storage and things such as that. Because simply, if you have this much more, it gives you a couple more racks, the yeah. height does. So there's a lot of ways we take advantage of the height. Another way we take advantage of the height is the big windows. Yeah, big oh yeah. windows allow us to have big windows and you can actually see out and stuff. Makes you feel like you have more room, but make you feel like you're being a motorhome. And we're able to give you the storage needs that you want. So it's a win-win situation, really, with how we have that height of our interior. We do a great job of taking advantage of it. And it's like I say, a lot of our full-time customers and people like that always come up with great ideas uh, that we can always pass along to you too. Yeah. So um, as we come back through here, this is really a big deal right here because we always had to move the refrigerator around a little bit in different areas. And this, once again, us figuring this out, gives us more ways to give you more storage and more opportunities to do more things with your coach. So like I say, you have plenty of room to a lot of activities. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and I'm noticing too, I love seeing these N1 panels here as yeah. we walk through. We don't see those big red if and blue you switches. And actually touch that real quick. I want to show you this door design you on the exit. The bedroom door? Yeah. Oh, wow. I like it. Very cool mirrored finish with this beautiful woodwork. And then I'm going to also close the powder room door. Let's open Josh's door there too. Oh, you like that. Um, and the reason why we did that right there, if you go back to the back bathroom, look at that tile, it's getting pulled up. It matches that right there. Nice. Just a little fun stuff that Amber does uh, just to keep um, everyone on their toes. She's it's really creative and great. Yeah, ties everything together. This right here is even pretty risky. She did it. She did a two-tone. You didn't notice that, but from the kitchen to the overhead compartments in the front, the kitchen area, the refrigerator stuff had that lighter, uh, lighter uh, cabinet look to it and this right here has a darker so it's a nice two-tone in how she put it in here and she did that with the dressers in this right here 
Yeah, let's. We walked right past the half bathroom. Oh, and I didn't. Even, I yeah. I get so excited about mm -hmm. how beautiful these half bathrooms are. I've got to stop and take a look here. Please do. Check out that tile work on the wall there. Absolutely stunning. And this is something kind of cool. The tiles are laid at these little curves. I don't know if I've ever seen that before, just kind of to mix it up a little bit. So what else going back here? Uh, what else going back here is, uh, just like I said, we have the two-tone wood, nice gaunt slides. But what we have right here, if you kind of look and step inside here a little bit, you'll notice that this slide right here is actually a little bit longer than this slide. This is a nine foot, uh, eight inch long slide, and this is an eight, um, the eight inch long slide right here. It's a foot longer. Why do a lot of people like that is, is because of that area right there. We're able, because of our height, not only give you a nice little um, nightstand right there, a countertop maybe for a CPAP machine, put your phone on or something like that. Your storage, maybe a little cup right there. We're also able to give you a nice coat hanging closet so you don't have to walk all the way back and you can store your coat there for instance today on a nice rainy day. Yes, sir. I said nice rainy day, not many nice rainy <laughs> days. But you gotta always be an optimist. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, I noticed the huge window. Yes. Does this have the projector it in the bedroom does. as well? Once again, show coach, we're gonna projector it out. And the reason why a lot of people like this is it's simple. Everybody loves our big windows. You wanna see out, you wanna enjoy your view. And a lot of people like to watch TV directly across. People also like to maximize storage. So you have nine good sized dresser drawers right here. What that projection TV allows it to get us all three in one. You can drop the shade, watch TV. You can raise the shade. You have your nice open. You can look at your view. Also, you have your dresser storage right through here because if it was on a TV lift, you would have to, the TV would be sitting right here. So allowed us to maximize a uh, space right there. And because we didn't have to put the extra storage on either end, like you might see on a lot of it when we put the TV lift in, we're able to put these two uh, right here. And we can always do that on a nine foot, six inch long slide on this side. This is an eight foot, um, eight inch long slide. So therefore we're able to get all this mix in a little bit more of a slide, which really allowed us to push the slides more forward to give us a bigger bathroom back here. To see how it all works, it's a big puzzle that Nathan Kelly has to put together, but he was able to do that by mix matching the, so the slide size on this particular coach right through here. So I think it was a really impressive job they did. Come up with this floor plan, they all might look a little basic, but it's the little tweaks that makes a big difference. Um, so this is actually a really good size bedroom. Yeah, and the thing I'm really noticing that really pulls it all together is these two paintings by Patsy Lowe. Yes. Just incredible how all these colors tie in, oh, yeah. the different, the dark brown and the two-tone cabinets, and you've got the different shades of brown and white. Just and stunning artwork. Those for every one of our newel coaches, if you like. I mean, we we always use her because she does the best at just tying in the colors, and, and it's a cool thing that we have. She does an amazing job. Yeah. She really does. She gets very creative and, uh, it's one of the things now a lot of people won't see what the new Patsy Lowe painting will look like in our coaches. So it's really cool. So congrats to her. I mentioned a lot of slides in this video and stuff right here is because it is a show coach. We're able to get really creative. We're able to put a 15 foot, seven inch long slide in the front, as well as a nine foot, six inch long slide right here and push it all forward and still give you the refrigerator right across from the um, powder room, along with some additional pantry stores right there. So really just a great design coach right here. Great layout that uh, really just the guys really worked really hard on this floor plan and it really came out great and I'm really impressed with it. So that's why I'm hitting the slides a lot. In order to get this rear bathroom so big, we do have to push our slides forward. We're able to do that. You hear me talk a lot about that because we do build our own chassis. We Every chassis is custom built. Once again, we always make our chassis fit our floor plan versus making a floor plan fit the chassis. And that's yes, a big difference there. So let's go on back here. We've yeah. talking enough about it. Look at that rear bath. Huge. <laughs> Check out the size of this shower. And the first thing I'm noticing is that center mounted shower head. That's actually 12 inch in diameter shower head. <laughs> you have three body sprays right here, along with your handheld sprayer right there. So beautiful. If texture. you can't get cleaned here, then, then, then something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You had a beautiful texture yeah. on the wall there and nice little shower caddy right there. And another thing is, Andrew, what's really key? You're tall. 
Stand inside that shower All right. real quick. I'm six two, so you can see I can do the full. Like I'm gonna even close the door. Close and do the, the door. But what the neat thing is, I want you to look up. If you notice in this particular bathroom right here, the floor is flat as it comes in. The step ups back there, so we're able to maximize the height of the shower yeah. on a lot. That's what the importance of pulling the actual slide forward is. It gives you for our taller customers, we can make it. We can have an 89 inch shower, a height shower in there for some of our customers. It might be above six, 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 seven, six, eight. Oh, it, you know, pretty. Oh clean. yeah. That's really becoming popular a lot, so a lot of people don't have that step up getting to the shower, so therefore they can maximize shower height. Yeah, and, and I also want to point out the same flooring continues into the shower. That almost look, looks like it would be a reflection, but that's actually the same floors. They're just giving it a beautiful, just incredible how you... How, consistent with the countertop and the backsplash. Look oh, yeah. <laughs> Just how it all ties together with the dark cabinets and the light colors. I don't know how you, the team at Newell Coach just continues to amaze me with every coach. Amber Kernan, you know, we always brag about her. We're lucky. She's amazing. And um, Nathan Kavehi, our whole team, they just do an amazing job. Uh, and then this right here, you still have your state cedar line closet right through here. We we'll always like we can push this door back just to give you a little extra room right through here. Heated towel rack. Oh yeah. Love that. Once again, can't let storage go in. No use. sir. <laughs> and right through here. Now this right through here is our owner's manual, but this right here is a nice little easy to get to circuit um, breaker board right through there. Once again, all our stuff, when you open up the door, the light automatically comes on. And even right through here, a lot of people ask, we don't rarely brag, we rarely brag about our deep dresser drawers right through here. Yeah. So we always have usually at least three, maybe four, depending on it. And the reason why we probably don't have four coming right through here is because in this particular floor plan, we have the washer dryer. Oh yeah. And, this, and once again, these doors slide back, which makes a huge difference. I don't think I've seen this floor plan before. We I'm, no, I mean, when I think about it, this is probably something really unique. Uh, we This is tied in from a couple different floor plans we've done and kind of merged it in and created one. I um, love it. And then this right here, we a lot of people ask, we can do front end loader, washer, dryer. We can do a top loader. Whatever's easiest for you, the stack will fit in there. We'll do it and make it accommodated for you. That's a Samsung. Samsung. That's, 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 that's the top of the line. Mm, that's yeah. the top line, yeah. But I just got to get everybody a close up of the texture here and all the detail work emergency egress yes. uh up here in case the coach were ever to tip on its side you can climb out easily and once again we do have it marine grade you hit that right there it's raining so we probably raining, don't want to so open, open it up you just unlatch that it pops open some people might have a little step ladder or something they just want to crawl up there but if you um lay on the side it's a way to get out we also have an egress window right there as well and if you look right back here you will see a fire extinguisher and a glass breaker. Okay, right. if you ever needed to. If you ever need to break glass. Josh, this is an incredible coach. Now, if someone's a serious buyer and they want to either order a new Newell coach or maybe step into a pre-owned Newell coach, who should they get a hold of? Just get a hold of me. My name is Josh Snyder. Uh, give me a call at 918-542-3344. I'm at extension 201. Or you can check us out at www.newellcoach.com. Awesome, Josh. Greatly appreciate you and the team here at Newell Coach. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Safe travels. Mm -hmm.